Chapter 1, The Incredible World of Insects. Title, The Incredible World of Insects. One sunny day, Tommy and Lily were outside playing in their backyard. Tommy loved bugs, especially insects. He was always curious to learn more about these tiny creatures. Lily, on the other hand, was a bit scared of insects. She thought they were creepy and crawly. Suddenly, Tommy spotted a colorful butterfly fluttering in the air. Look, Lily, it's a butterfly, he exclaimed with excitement. Lily took a step back, unsure. I, I don't know, Tommy, what if it lands on me, she hesitantly replied. Tommy grinned and said, don't worry, Lily. Butterflies are harmless and beautiful. Let's follow it and see where it goes. They followed the butterfly as it flew from flower to flower, drinking nectar with its long straw-like tongue called a proboscis. Tommy explained to Lily that butterflies have six legs, colorful wings, and belong to a group of insects called Lepidoptera. Lily was fascinated by the butterfly's delicate wings and vibrant colors. She started to realize that insects weren't as scary as she thought. Tommy continued to share more insect facts to his sister. Did you know that insects have exoskeletons, Lily? Tommy asked. Confused, Lily replied, Exo, what now? Tommy chuckled and explained, An exoskeleton is like a hard outer covering that protects an insect's body. It's like their skeleton on the outside. Lily's eyes widened in amazement. She couldn't believe insects had their skeletons on the outside of their bodies. She started to see insects in a whole new light. They continued their exploration and came across a group of ants marching in a straight line. Tommy bent down to get a closer look at them. He told Lily that ants are social insects and live in colonies. Look at their tiny legs, Lily. Tommy said, pointing at the ants. They have six legs just like the butterfly, but they are much smaller. Ants use their legs to crawl, climb, and carry food back to their nests. Lily watched in awe as the ants moved in a precise line, each carrying a small crumb of food on their backs. As they explored further, Tommy and Lily discovered more fascinating insects. They observed bees buzzing from flower to flower, collecting pollen to make honey. Tommy informed Lily that bees also have exoskeletons that are important pollinators. Tommy and Lily couldn't believe how much they had learned about insects in just one day. They realized that insects were an incredible part of our world. They were diverse creatures with special abilities and roles in our ecosystem. With a newfound appreciation for insects, Lily now understood that they weren't as scary as she once believed. Tommy was proud of his sister's bravery and curiosity. As the sun started to set, they returned home with smiles on their faces. Tommy and Lily couldn't wait to explore more of the incredible world of insects together. Little did they know, this was only the beginning of their exciting journey to discover the wonders of nature, one bug at a time. Question what are insects? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2 The Tiny Architects Chapter 2 The Tiny Architects Insects are remarkable creatures. They live in wonderful homes that they build all by themselves. You might think they use ordinary materials like us humans do, but that's not the case. In fact, Insects are incredibly resourceful and use unique materials to construct their homes. Take ants, for example. They are very small but can build large homes with their tiny bodies. They use materials they find in nature, like leaves and soil. First, the ants gather strong leaves, carefully carrying them to their construction site. Then, they dig a small hole in the ground and start building their home. Using the leaves and soil, the ants build intricate tunnels. They work together, passing the materials to each other with their strong jaws. The ants work all day using their amazing teamwork, creating a cozy and safe space for their colony. It's like a tiny city underground. Not all insects build homes underground, though. 
some prefer to build up in the trees. Have you ever seen a spider's web? Spiders are masters of architecture, too. They create their homes with a remarkable material called silk. Silk is incredibly strong and sticky, perfect for catching prey. Spiders spin their silk with their spinnerets, which are special organs at the back of their abdomens. They start by attaching silk to a branch or leaf. Then, they stretch out the silk in different directions, creating a complex pattern. The silk threads form a sticky web that insects get caught in when they fly into it. It's like a sticky trap, but not all insects build homes to live in. Some insects build homes to protect their young ones. Have you ever seen a bee's nest? Bees build their homes out of wax, which they produce themselves. They shape the wax into tiny hexagons, like little rooms. Each hexagon is a cell where the baby bees grow. Inside each cell, the bee will lay an egg. The baby bee will hatch from the egg and grow inside the cell. When it's time to come out, the bees chew through the wax and emerge into the world. It's a cozy and safe nursery for the baby bees. Insects are truly amazing architects. They build homes with materials found in nature, like leaves, soil, and silk. Whether it's ants underground, spiders in the trees, or bees in their nests, insects know how to create safe and cozy spaces for themselves and their young ones. Next time you spot an insect home, take a closer look and marvel at their incredible design skills. You'll be amazed at what these tiny architects can achieve. Question how do insects build their homes? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 3. Busy as a Bee In a quiet meadow, buzzing with activity, there lived a group of bees. These bees had an important job to do, pollination. Pollination was the process of transferring pollen from the male parts to the female parts of plants. It was a crucial step in the reproduction of these plants. Every morning, the bees would wake up early and fly from flower to flower, collecting pollen on their fuzzy bodies. As they moved from one flower to another, they unintentionally dropped some pollen onto the stigma of the flowers. This allowed the plants to produce fruits and seeds, ensuring the continuation of their species. Now, you might wonder why pollination was so important. Well, the answer was simple. The fruits and seeds that the plants produced were essential for the survival of many animals, including people. Fruits provided us with vital nutrients and were a tasty treat. Seeds, on the other hand, could grow into new plants, allowing nature to flourish. The bees knew their job was crucial. They worked tirelessly, meticulously collecting pollen from one flower, then moving on to another. Their wings buzzed rapidly as they zoomed through the air, creating a symphony of sounds. It was like a well-organized orchestra, with each bee playing its part. One sunny day, as the bees were busy as ever, a young girl named Lily wandered into the meadow. She marveled at the sight of the bees, their tiny bodies dancing in the air. She watched as they landed on flowers and collected pollen. She couldn't help but be fascinated by these incredible insects. Lily decided to sit down near the colorful meadow, and observe the bees more closely. She watched as they dove into the heart of each flower, sipping nectar and transferring pollen. The bees seemed focused and determined, never missing a beat. She remembered learning in school about the importance of bees in pollination. Lily realized that without bees, many of the plants she loved so much would not be able to produce fruits and seeds. It was astonishing to think of the impact such tiny creatures had on the natural world. Lily made a silent promise to herself. She would take good care of the bees and their habitat. She would plant flowers in her garden to attract them and make sure they had enough food to thrive. She understood that everyone could contribute to the well-being of bees and, in turn, the environment. As the sun began to set, the bees returned to their hive, ready to rest after a hard day's work. Lily waved at them, 
silently thanking them for their exceptional efforts. The bees buzzed in response, as if saying goodbye. From that day onward, Lily never forgot the bees' importance. She spread awareness among her friends and family, encouraging everyone to appreciate these tiny miracles of nature. They all started planting more flowers, creating a haven for bees and other beneficial insects. And so, the bees continued their important mission, moving from flower to flower, collecting pollen and pollinating plants. Thanks to the bees and the people who understood their value, the world bloomed with vibrant colors and delicious fruits for generations to come. Question Why are bees important? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 4 The Masters of Camouflage In the deep, lush forest, there were insects of all shapes and sizes. One by one, they scurried and flew, hoping to hide from the sharp eyes of predators. Among them was a clever group of insects called the Masters of Camouflage. These insects knew how to blend in with their surroundings, making it hard for predators to spot them. Their color and patterns matched perfectly with the leaves and bark, making them almost invisible. One sunny morning, a young caterpillar named Carl joined the Masters of Camouflage. Carl was eager to learn the art of hiding and blending in. He had heard stories of how these insects could turn invisible when danger approached. Welcome, young Carl, said the leader of the masters, a wise butterfly named Beatrice. Today, we shall teach you the secrets of camouflage. The masters of camouflage took Carl to a tree trunk covered in moss and lichens. Observe carefully, said Beatrice. To hide successfully, one must understand their surroundings. Carl watched intently as the insects morphed into different shapes and colors. The grasshopper turned brown like the bark, and the stick insect extended its body to resemble a twig. Even the butterfly folded its wings to match the pattern of the flowers nearby. Carl realized that good camouflage meant more than just matching colors, it was mimicking the shape and texture, too. Now, it's your turn, Beatrice said to Carl. Carl took a deep breath and concentrated. He focused on the tree trunk, trying his best to imitate its textures. Slowly, Carl's body turned from green to brown, and small bumps appeared on his skin, resembling the moss. The other insects clapped their wings in approval. You've done well, young Carl, Beatrice said, but remember, practice makes perfect. For days, Carl practiced camouflage with his new insect friends. He learned to blend in with flowers, rocks, and even fallen leaves. Each time, he became better at hiding, and predators had a hard time spotting him. One day, as Carl was hiding behind a leaf, he saw a big, hungry bird swooping down from the sky. The bird's sharp eyes scanned the forest floor, searching for its next meal. Carl's heart raced, and he knew he had to hide perfectly in order to escape. With all his might, Carl transformed his body to match the green leaf completely. He held his breath and hoped that the bird wouldn't notice him. The bird landed on the branch above, making Carl tremble with fear. Suddenly, a bust of wind swayed the branch back and forth. Carl's heart skipped a beat, but he remained still. The bird, unable to detect any movement, flew away in search of an easier prey. Bravo! Carl exclaimed Beatrice, who had watched the whole scene unfold. You've become a true master of camouflage. Carl beamed with pride. He had overcome his fear and learned the importance of camouflage. From that day on, he continued to explore the forest, always confident in his ability to blend in and hide. As the sun set, Carl joined his insect friends, sharing stories of their adventures and celebrating their mastery of camouflage. They reveled in the beauty of the forest, knowing that their ability to hide was their greatest strength against predators. And so, the masters of camouflage lived happily, protected by their unique skills, always ready to disappear into nature's tapestry whenever danger approached.
Question How do insects hide from predators? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 5 The Superheroes of Insect World Insects are fascinating creatures with special abilities that make them truly extraordinary. Imagine a world where insects are the superheroes, each with their own unique powers. In this chapter, we will explore the incredible abilities of the insect world superheroes. First up, we have Flyer, the extraordinary flying insect. Flyer had the amazing power of flight. With its delicate wings, Flyer could soar high up in the sky, darting and diving with ease. It could fly through the air with grace and agility, darting from flower to flower searching for nectar. People marvel that Flyer's ability to hover effortlessly in mid-air, its wings flapping rapidly. Flyer was the true champion of the sky. Next, we have Jumper, the incredible leaping insect. Jumper had the power to jump higher and farther than any other insect in its league. With its strong hind legs, Jumper could leap from branch to branch, tree to tree, showcasing a remarkable display of power and precision. Jumper's jumps were so extraordinary that many insects looked up to it as a role model. Jumper loved the thrill of reaching great heights and landing with precision, never missing its mark. Then there was Glower, the mesmerizing light-producing insect. Glower had a secret ability that made it stand out from the rest. Glower's body had the power to emit a soft, enchanting glow, lighting up the darkness of the night. It would often create a magical atmosphere, captivating the attention of those lucky enough to witness its luminous display. Glower's light not only mesmerized onlookers, but it also acted as a guiding beacon for other insects making their way through the darkness. As day turned to night, these superheroes of the insect world joined forces to protect their community. Flyer scouted the area from above, alerting Jumper to any potential danger with a swift signal. Jumper, with its incredible leaping ability, would quickly dash to the rescue, using its precise jumps to thwart any threats. Glower, with its radiant light production, guided the way, ensuring the safety of all insects even in the darkest of nights. Together, Flyer, Jumper, and Glower formed an unbeatable team, ensuring the well-being of the insect world. They were always ready to lend a helping wing, light or glow, demonstrating their true heroism. Insects far and wide admired their remarkable abilities and strived to become superheroes, just like Flyer, Jumper, and Glower. As their incredible adventure unfolded, these insect superheroes encountered countless challenges. However, their determination, courage, and unique abilities always came to the rescue. With each obstacle they overcame, they inspired other insects to embrace their own special powers and contribute to the well-being of their community. With their amazing flying, jumping, and light-producing abilities, Flyer, Jumper, and Glower brought hope and strength to the insect world. Together, they will continue to protect their fellow insects, exploring new horizons and facing whatever challenges may lie ahead. The superheroes of the insect world will forever be remembered for their extraordinary abilities and unwavering dedication to the greater good. Question, what special abilities do insects have? Check the video description.